So back in 2016, my team and I, we were trying to figure out what are some cool lip products that we can come out with. And I remember at that time, it was the height of the liquid lipstick craze. Everyone was launching liquid lipstick. I was never a fan of it per se. I mean, I loved, I loved the color payoff. I loved the application, but when it dries down and my lips feels dry and cracky, I just didn't really like how it felt. So when I was looking through my DMs and comments, a lot of you guys were asking me, Michelle, can you create a comfortable, non-drying liquid lipstick? And that became my inspiration. I'm like, all right guys, let's create this non-drying, comfortable liquid lipstick. So we're meeting with a few beauty vendors and they're bringing in new formulations and innovations. And I was applying this one lip product and I was asking them, what is this? I like this. And they said, oh, that's a, that's a lip primer that you apply on before a liquid lipstick. And so I asked them, can you add color to this? They tweaked the formula, they added color and a little bit of back and forth. We started to just fall in love with the product. I found myself using it every day. I would always reach for it. Even throughout the day, if I'm eating or drinking coffee, it would transfer just a little bit, but very minimal. I personally fell in love with it and we decided let's Let's use this as a base formula for this non-drying liquid lipstick. And so Infinite Lip Cloud was born. I'd love to introduce you to Carly, who is Hello. part of the M product development team. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Fun fact about Carly is that she is an Aquarius. I am. Age of Aquarius. <laughs> yeah. Age of... And also another fun fact is Carly has an identical twin. I do. Her name's Britta. If she's watching, hello. It'll be so funny if she trolled us and they switch places at work. Britta comes to work mm. instead. Oh, it would be so funny. I could be doing it right now. You would have no idea. <laughs> I always love a good ingredient story, so we're gonna jump right into that. So the Infinite Lip Cloud, the one thing that I love about it, which I think most people do, is how comfortable it is. Yep. And you can just tell when you're applying it, it is so moisturizing, and that is because of the fruit extracts and fruit oils that are in the formula that just really nourish your lips and make them so hydrated and moisturized, and not like a traditional liquid lipstick. Mm, fruit oils mm -hmm. makes a difference. It does. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, you too. Okay, moving on, we're gonna talk about the touch and feel of Infinite Lip Cloud. This is a lip cream, so it's obviously very creamy in texture, and it feels so soft on the lips, like we've said. It's so velvety, that's why we decided mm -hmm. to call it Cloud. Yeah. Because it does feel like airy, cloudy. Mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like anything on your lips. Especially one of my favorite ways to wear it is to blot it down like once, and then I feel like it's just so weightless mm -hmm. and it lasts forever. So we're gonna move on to pigmentation and colors. Mm -hmm. As you can see, they're so pigmented, but in the best way, like not, they're just perfect. They're perfect pigmentation. You get a nice color payoff just in one swipe. Mm -hmm. One thing that a lot of people don't know about how we chose the colors is we were actually inspired by my favorite oil paint brand called Williamsburg Oil Paints. And mm -hmm. it's based in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And what I love about this brand is that when they're making their colors, it's the most rich, most natural looking colors that you can find on the market. And um, for example, Spanish Earth, this beautiful color, it's actually named after a Williamsburg color, Spanish Earth. And in a way, I find that when we're using more natural pigments and colors, it's, it looks better on most skin tones, right? Yeah, agreed. I mean, I think all the shades are very wearable and they're very modern, but they're still, yeah, like they look good on everyone. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, this can look like a nude on someone. Mm -hmm. And this orange, most people I know, they get turned off by orange yes. or they get a little intimidated by it, but we made sure that we wanted each color to have its own personality, but also be wearable and livable. Yeah, and like you said, across multiple skin tones. Mm -hmm. And I love the smell too. Oh my gosh, I love this smell. It's just like vanilla. Some people say cocoa, but to me it smells like vanilla. Mm -hmm. I hear people say like, it smells like cupcakes. And... Yeah, yeah. I normally don't like scented beauty products, but in this case, I think it works really well. What would you say are your favorite shades from this collection? So, we're actually wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> um, Faded Clementine, the one Michelle is wearing, was always my favorite until we launched Love, which is the one I'm wearing. Oh, yeah. And I don't know, because Faded Clementine, I have such a deep-rooted love, so it's probably my all-time favorite, but I love Love. Yeah, Love is mm -hmm. such a beautiful orange red. Yeah. It's so it's vibrant. So stunning. I mean, it's vibrant to me, and I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually colorblind. I found out last year that I'm color deficient in red and green, and it still looks beautiful yeah. to me. When I see it, I'm like, it is a beautiful red. 
But I'm so proud of our faded Clementine because we launched this shade before orange was a big thing, um, before anyone was really yeah. launching burnt orange. And um, I find orange to be a challenging color because sometimes it gets skewed too yellow or it gets skewed too orange, but it was a beautiful, we were able to find like the perfect match. Yeah, right? true. It's that's so, wearable. It's so perfect. It's the best orange I've ever worn. Same. Yeah. I mean, I wear this probably more than any of the other colors. Me so my too. second favorite would be Rose Nude, mm -hmm. which is one of our top sellers. Yeah, it is. Faded Clementine and Rose Nude, top yes. sellers. So we're with the masses. We are. <laughs> we like totally. what everyone else likes. Alrighty, thank you Carly for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. This was really fun guys, thank you so much for watching. We want to do more of these videos, so please leave a comment on any other products you want us to talk about, and of course any questions you have from Carly, because she is the product developer expert here. Don't forget to subscribe, and of course guys, if you want to learn more and shop from M Cosmetics, go to mcosmetics.com. Gotta give a little shameless plug, but you know how it is. <laughs> and of course, I love you guys, and I know this has no context, but good luck. Good luck, good luck.